Hey, welcome to our 12th Stickman Physics. This is on mass and weight. We're going to look at the difference between mass and weight. We're going to be able to calculate mass from weight and weight from mass using the FW equals mg equation. And we're going to be able to draw force diagrams on, horizontal, on a horizontal surface of any planet. So mass is a measurement of matter, what makes up the atoms and molecules that make up an object. Mass is never going to change because the molecules that make you up are is not going to change. Weight, on the other hand, is going to change because the force of gravity acting on an object's mass will change. Um, it's directly related to mass, but will change with location as the force of acceleration due to gravity changes. So if G goes up, your weight's going to go up as a result. If G goes down, your weight's going to go down. So here's your equation you're going to use a lot of today, um, FW equals mg, weight equals mass times gravity, so there's just your variables. Um, the unit of any force, and that's why it has F subscript W, is Newton, or capital N. Mass is M, that's variable, and kilogram, or kg, is the, is the MKS unit for that. And acceleration due to gravity, that's your G, it's meters per second squared, and meters slash second squared, right there you can see the abbreviation. So on Earth, the, the surface, the accepted value for acceleration due to gravity in most places is going to be 9.81 meters per second squared. Some places you might see 9.8, and, um, and we've used 10 a lot in these lessons just because we want to use a, a full number, a uh, rounded number. It's just less specific, but we've been using it until now. In this lesson, you use, use, the, less, the, use the numbers I give you, which I'll, I'll give you uh, 9.81 in most cases meters per second squared. So the earth, on Earth, your weight, so this guy right here, this 9.81 meters per second squared is pulling this person down, a force that's you know, related to that is pulling this person down into the Earth. Um, later on, we'll find out the, the mass of these objects. So if you look at the mass of Earth, the mass of this person, the mass of the moon, the mass of this person, uh, that and the distance between them and the center, them and the center is going to go into the, the force of gravity, which we'll see in a future lesson. We're going to use surface acceleration due to gravity. So, you know, this person may be up flying in the sky. If that was the case, we wouldn't be using the 9.81 or the 1.62. We're going to be looking at this person on the surface of the moon or on the surface of the Earth or on the surface of another planet. So it's the surface acceleration due to gravity that we're going to be using here as G. Uh, the more massive the object, the higher the g. So here you can see the Earth is more massive than the moon, and it has a 9.81 meters per second squared acceleration due to gravity, once again called g. The higher the acceleration due to gravity, the higher the weight. So when we solve for weight later on, we're going to see that this is going to have a higher weight than the, this person over here on the moon. Some of the, the common acceleration due to gravity surface, once again, not all these surfaces are actually land. Some of them are... Um, are, are gas, gaseous, but let's just assume that they were. Um, the different densities also matter too, and that's why just because you might have a very large planet like Saturn, um, it might not have as much of you know of a g as Jupiter with 24.79 meters per second squared. It's more for a future lesson where we calculate the um, the, the the force of gravity. But just notice that we have different values for for, for g depending on where you're located. Uh, these are just more specifics. If you ever had to use them, sometimes you can calculate using the radius of mass. We'll see these later on. I just wanted to give you this, this table that you could see going with the force of gravities, and there's a reason for everything. Um, Pluto is no longer a planet, so this last one is mainly planets. This one just other interstellar uh, objects, like in this case we're talking about the Earth's moon, uh, the sun and Pluto. And they also, the sun is such, such a massive a giant that it would have such a high uh, acceleration due to gravity, 274.78 meters per second squared. Uh, this equation we're going to use a lot of. This is just a rearranging. If you ever wanted to get M or G separate, you would just divide the M. If I wanted M, I would just divide G out, so it would be FW over G. And if I wanted G, I'd divide the M out. And so dividing the M out right there would end up being G equals FW over M. What's in Talia? So here's an example. What's in 76 kilogram of Talia's weight on Earth where the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared? So here it's just useful to get used to making a Gibbons list. Um, kilograms is mass. It's asking you for weight. So FW is question mark. They give you an acceleration due to gravity. So we're going to not use 10. We're going to use 9.81 meters per second squared. And there's your equation. Once you plug in your values, multiply them out. 
and you're going to get 745.56, so 745.56 newtons. So if you're doing this lesson, you should try some of the basic ones on your own. Um, pause the video and then go. And if you're live with me, then uh, then you're gonna you're gonna want to. Uh, I'll try to give you a little bit of time to 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 do the the math before I show you the answer. So what is Natalia's weight on the moon, where the acceleration due to gravity is 1.62 meters per second squared? So once again, what's Natalia's weight? F um, they're giving you a Natalia's weight from before, 76 uh, kilograms. So you had to use the information from the previous one. And it's her weight on the moon. So we're trying to find FW, but now we have this new G. So we're going to have the same equation, FW equals mg. But now we're going to have this 76 kilograms, which we had before because mass doesn't change, but we're going to have a new G, 1.62. And so when we multiply those two out using this, this equation, we're going to get 123.12 newtons as your weight. If 76 kilogram Natalia went to Neptune where the surface acceleration due to gravity was 11.15 meters per second squared, would her mass or weight change and what would each be? So the mass is going to stay the same, 76 kilograms. It's weight that changes as a result of G. So let's go ahead and take that M of 76 kilograms. We're trying to find the weight, but now we're going to use the G of 11.15 meters per second squared. So we have our FW equals MG equation. FW equals the 76 from over here times the new G of 11.15. And when we multiply those out, she now has a weight of 847.4 newtons. So let's just take a look at some force diagrams. And so this was from a previous lesson. If you weren't on that previous lesson, um, mass does not change. So it's 10 kilograms, whether you're on Earth or on the moon. The weight is going to change. So this FW is going to change when you do the FW equals MG equation using the Earth's G and the Moon's G. And the Earth's G was uh, 9.81 meters per second squared. And the Moon's G was... Uh, 1.62 meters per second squared. So this is going to change, and so therefore you're going to have much more weight on, or this box would have this that much more weight on Earth, but in the same sense, as this weight is pushing down on the Earth, then Earth is going to be pushing back up on the box. So this box is not accelerating. It's in, we call it st static equilibrium from a previous lesson. It's not, it has a net force of zero because the force down the weight equals the force up. And once you get on a horizontal surface, the Surface will push back upwards perpendicular to the surface. So once again, perpendicular just means at a 90 degree angle. And perpendicular to a horizontal surface is going to be directly up, and that's what's happening right here. So what is the weight of a 25 kilogram object on Pluto where the acceleration due to gravity is 0.62 meters per second squared? So this is the problem set. You need to be working these. Work through all of them. Um, be caught by any little trick, you know, and then come back and watch this video and just check your answers with me. But once again, make sure you own the answers. And if you make a mistake, that's fine. Just make sure that you understand why and you know how to fix it in the future. So if you haven't paused it, pause it and then come back and just you can check them as I go, um, whatever you need to do, or you can just check them all if you feel like you're doing pretty well at the very end. So here we have a mass of 25 kilograms on Pluto. The acceleration is, we asked for the weight, so FW, where that's the question. The acceleration due to gravity, the G is 0.62 meters per second squared. So we have FW equals mg. And the FW is the 25, and the G is 0.62, and so we get 15.5 newtons. So now in the second problem, it asks us just to go ahead and, and draw out the force diagram. So you have the normal force going up, the weight going down. Make sure that FW is the down one and FN is the up one, and it's 15.5 newtons. They're both the weight's pushing down, and the result is the ground is pushing back up on this object by 15.5. What's the mass of a 25 kilogram object on Pluto where the acceleration due to gravity is 0.62 meters per second squared? Okay, so this is a trick question. Mass doesn't change. The mass will still be 25 kilograms. It's not going to change. What's the weight of a 25 kilogram object on Mars where the acceleration due to gravity is 3.72 meters per second squared? So in this case here, we are going to have a mass of 25, just like before, kilograms. But now our weight's going to be different because our acceleration due to gravity is different. And so this goes back to FW equals mg. We plug in our values. We've got our 25, we've got our 3.72, and we get 93 newtons as our answer. So what is the mass of a 100 newton object on the moon where the acceleration due to gravity is 1.62 meters per second squared? Careful here, they are giving you a weight. They're not giving you a mass, so this will change. While this 
this this already changed, but now we're on the moon, and so we're trying to figure out from mass uh, from from the the weight of 100 newtons and acceleration of 1.62 meters per second squared. We're trying to find out the mass, and so here we have your equation rearranged as F W E over G. So once again, if we wanted to arrange this out and get G uh, M alone, we divide up the the G's and we get M equals F W over G, and that's what we have right here below. Plug in our values, and we get 61.73 kilograms as our answer. So if we're drawing a force dra diagram of this. Um, we just have we already have the newtons, so they gave us newtons. We could have done this force diagram before we did question number five. The weight down was 100 newtons, and weight uh, uh, the normal force pushing back on that weight perpendicular to the surface is 100 newtons. In this case, up. If you weigh 100 or 1,177 newtons on 0.2 newtons on Earth, where where the acceleration due to gravity is 98 9.81 meters per second squared, what is your mass on Uranus where the acceleration due to gravity is 8.69 meters per second squared? Okay, so your mass is going to be the same as it is on Earth, but we don't know that yet, so we need to figure that out. So they ask us for mass, our, our weight on Earth. Once again, they give you this on Earth. It's 1177.2 newtons. We have our G of 9.81, and now we're going to solve for our mass. Once again, rearrange like before, plugging in our weight up here, our acceleration due to gravity on Earth, because we're trying to find our mass on Earth. We can't tra translate our, not with the equations I gave you, our weight on Earth to the, our weight on uh, on Uranus. So we got to go ahead and solve for mass, which we solve for mass, and this is your answer. The mass would be the same on Earth as it is on Uranus, so this is going to be the mass in both places. And now we're going to go ahead and use that, because this second question, or eighth question, asks us for our weight on Uranus. So now we're going to have the M of 120, because we're still the same mass. We're going to we're asked for weight. We're going to use 8.69 meters per second squared as our acceleration. So we have FW equals mg, and we just plug in our values, 120 and 8.69, and we get this new weight of 1,042.8 newtons. Uh, so that would be your mat, the mat, your weight on Uranus, whereas your mass would have been the same.